folks, for those who watched my previous video, the peg cell battery charger, I was explaining the mechanisms. If you don't understand, then look at the previous video for full disclosure and details. So now with the help of the peg cell, I am charging the battery. This is a battery that was given to me in unknown condition, so I'm charging it and every time it dumps, it really feels it. So there was a dump there. So it seems to be doing it because it always goes, when it goes lower, it steadily climbs a little bit. So it doesn't, it started peaking at like 10.9 and now it's down to 11.2 something. And then it goes, so it is taking a charge. So, so far so good. So this is dumping pretty good. Again, the peg cell is acting as a reactive power supply here, giving me milliamps power from the mains, just enough to drive this 12 volt power supply, which runs basically this high frequency, high voltage neon transformer to charge at 1 kV 28 UF that discharges through the microwave transformer in the high voltage side. So we send the 100 volts high current pulses direct in the battery. We also have an additional transformer in line to capture the inductive kickback spike and it's very very strong at one kilovolt so I step it down and it's about 24 volts so that's the additional tap that goes there so I'm recycling both parts of the wave here and it's doing really good I'm going to show you the heat here so it's not acting like basically a resistor that gets really hot so it's not bad you see what I mean it's, it's, a, it's a degree and a half or so more than in here. See, 71 on the board. See, it's not bad at all. And taking a look over here on the heat sink, this is usually plugged in direct. This is usually so hot you can't touch it, right? So now that it's limited to a few milliamps, 81 degrees. See, that's really nice around the heat sink, you see? So very, very minimal heat, which is great. And the cap dumps are running basically almost at the same speed if they work. Because this thing could take about 1.5 amps if it were connected direct without a reactive stage to drop it down. It'll take 1.5 amps. And I plugged it in direct just to see. And to be wasting 1.5 amp, I gain maybe 100 milliseconds in the cap dumps versus using a few milliamps of reactive power instead with the help of the peg cell it just makes more sense and again like I've explained the caps don't care if it's low current or electrostatic whatever they'll charge up and that discharge is, is the same equivalent in joules this is real potentially lethal current even when it's discharged so you have to be careful with this it's 28 UF 1 kV so that's why the battery really moves every time it gets a spike it feels it See, 11.72, and it plateaus a little bit. And then the next spike, 11.9. So you get the idea of what it's doing. And I'm using very, very minimal current. And it's not like this is being, a, 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 I explained that it's an open loop. The peg cell is not a closed loop. There's no continuity. So it's not like you're running a resistor really, really, really hot, wasting all that energy through the peg cell. No, it's acting like a real capacitive, but instead it's electric. So it does a little bit of contribution as well. So it's all about efficiency. And of course, I take advantage of the capacitors here. Having more capacitors in series not only allows me to um, uh, use more voltage, but it takes it and it basically exploits the memory of rebound effects so that every cycle is a little bit quicker. It starts a little slow and it builds up faster, so may as well take advantage of everything I can. And again, I also want to use a few AV diode plugs on the high voltage one wire here and I give some one some diode taps, AV diode taps, and those can individually charge maybe small caps at 80 volts or so. I have a few 80 volts, I think they're actually 90 volts. Spark gaps like these, but much smaller. And I could use the same concept to recycle another part of the field, which is the pointing um, vector field. So um, basically there's watts there not even being used. So I'm doing pretty good with this so far. And our battery is taking it nicely. See, now it's jumping to 12. So it's really, it's doing something. 
doing it pretty quickly too just in the course of talking here so just giving everyone a progress update on what I'm doing here and it's doing very well I wanted to have like your nice battery charger system with the peg cell and it seems to be a good application for that so until next time folks thanks for watching